Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're kind of doing like a different video. We yeah. haven't done a video like this before. This isn't a first impressions video. It's basically just us trying to convince you guys all to buy this foundation yes. because we love it so much. Because we love it so much. But we also want to give you guys like a sit down review, tell you like the good things about it, the bad things about it and why we love it so much. Especially for a foundation, it's pricier, so I feel like it's like you wanna research it a little bit more. Definitely. So, And it'll be nice for you guys too because you guys will see like a shade comparison for both of us, mm -hmm. what our shades look like. Well, let's get into let's it. Get in. We're cracking open this bitch. No. Yeah, Casey brought out a fresh tube for this video. I brought a fresh video. tube, just for the YouTube, okay? Okay. I mean, I was running out of mine. But, but oh, I feel like we should tell them what it is. <laughs> I don't think that we said. It's the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 Niacinamide Squalane Hyaluronic Acid. Yeah, so what's really awesome about this product is that it's not just a foundation, but it's but like they market it as like a a skincare and a makeup product. And I love the fact that it has niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid in it because your skin still looks really like plump and really good while you use it but also after you use it yeah and i feel like something that's worth mentioning about this i have very acne prone skin and you know like i can cringe it's like oh i shouldn't be wearing makeup but mm -hmm. genuinely my skin will look better the day after i wear this i agree like, yeah especially on like my breakouts i feel like they look like you did skincare for the day whereas i feel like with other foundations I look more broken out afterwards, like yeah. at the end of the day. It's like so weird because it's like if you put on like full feet and then use this versus using like a different foundation. Like I feel like when I used a different foundation, the next day I was like dry and crispy and just like looking really dull, but this like hydrates. It does like hydrate. Nice in my yeah. Acid. And then it's also important to mention that it has SPF 40 in it, which is like non-nano zinc oxide. So I think that's it doesn't have, it's not going to give you a white cast, which yeah. is key. And now they just extended their shade range too, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah, so when they first came out, they didn't have as many. But um, it also, they say that it oxidizes, which I actually didn't realize, but we saw someone else say that. And mm -hmm. It was like, oh wow, and it really does. So I noticed that though. Yeah, like you can go a shade lighter if you want something darker because it, it really does oxidize yeah. frequently. And oxidizing just means that it turns darker once it hits like the air. And I would say like this is good for if you like a dewy finish. Like if you're like the type of gal who likes like a nice natural skin finish, mm -hmm. but like more on the dewy side, like this is definitely not matte. What shade do you use? I use ST4 Formosa. The shade that I use is ST8 Sheila. I actually was recommended on their website to get um, S7, which I think is Diaz, but they were out of stock forever when I was buying it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like shade to one up. And it actually like worked out really nicely. Okay, these are our swatches. Mine is S8 and this is after they've oxidized. We wanna show you guys too what it looks like before it oxidizes. Yeah, this is ST4 Formosa. So this is S4 before it oxidizes. Big difference, actually. Yeah. It's like huge, but yeah, good to know before you buy because like this is good because when it goes on, it's super light for me. So like I like when my foundation's like a little bit darker because I'm usually self tanning. But yeah, definitely something to be aware of. All right, this is what S8 looks like before it oxidizes. No, you're so much. Okay, so I also have the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation, and that's this one right here. And this is in shade Warm Sand 2.5. So that's a comparison next to the S8. Now, we'll put them on our box. <laughs> um, it says that it, you should apply with your fingers, right? Mm -hmm. I don't, I apply with a brush. How do you apply? I, I apply with a brush too. I thought you used a beauty blender. No, I do that sometimes because this is kind of like uh, another note about it is it can get a little streaky 
if you put too much product on just because it is so liquidy. Yeah, you have to like apply it, let it dry, mm -hmm. and then add another layer if you're trying to build a coverage. Yeah. So like in that case where I get like really streaky, I'll just take like a sponge to kind of like absorb like that extra product mm -hmm. that's like just sitting. And what kind of coverage would you say that this is? Like a light to medium? I'd say it's light to medium, yeah. It's surprising because it actually is like pretty buildable. Yeah, I would say I would say it's pretty buildable too. Like I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks from like acne and it covers it well it doesn't cover it completely but if you like prefer like i don't mind if i have like a little bit of just like skin imperfection showing yeah if i have anything really coming through then i will use some concealer on that on like those spots yeah for yeah. sure i can i usually actually conceal like a lot of my hyperpigmentation i should get that green stick you were telling me to get yeah if you have any red spots on your face then you can use a green concealer and that tint will offset the red to make it neutral. Why don't you apply yours first and show them how you apply it? I usually I just drip it onto my face. Like so. But and then I kind of just book it in. Swirling motions. Pulling it up. It really does look so good on the skin. Like it looks like skin when you put it on. Yeah, it really does. Just like kind of like color corrects and like I, I have like the pigmentation on my cheeks so I put a thicker layer on my cheeks mm -hmm. and then I do like work it in a little bit just like with what's left on my brush um but yeah I don't like dump it in the middle and you honestly don't need a ton like, I don't know is that a lot it's like half a squeeze I would say do you do more than one layer of this I usually only do one. Yeah, I only do one. Like, I really just cover it up. This is yeah, that looks great, guys. You're looking layer. great. But yeah, kind of like a dewy finish. Definitely dewy. Very dewy, but very skin-like. Like I can definitely, I'll show you. I could go in on my cheeks again because that's where I have like my dark spots. I don't know if you can see them, but. It's not gonna cover them completely, but. No, it looks good. It definitely evens. Or at least gets rid of some of the redness. Like I always find it, I get really red like right here on my face and I can add like more of this if I'm like really red that day. Yeah. So yeah, if you have any like spots, and on acne, this is actually, we were talking about, I don't know if we said, did we say this on camera? We feel like it's like really nice actually, cause it's moisturizing. And when you have acne and you're putting something on that's like drying, that's when you get like those like crusty, like after you And it shows your, and it shows your acne through the makeup more, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. When you use something that's very drying. For sure. And I'd say this is like a dead match for my skin tone almost. Yes, dead match for sure. But I do, I should break it down a little bit more, but. but yeah, but funny, my sister actually really doesn't like this. Like I told her to try it, but she doesn't prefer, like this can leave a little bit of a tackiness on your face, you know? Like, because it is so dewy, like, mm -hmm. and she didn't like that. Like she likes to just have like, where she can like just be dry and like swipe her finger, but this can leave like a little bit of tackiness depending on how much you put on. Mm -hmm. Do you find that? Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean for sure. So that was why she didn't like it, but I don't mind that. But whatever I'm gonna be wearing Wait, what anyway. what do you mean by tacky? Like when you like touch it and it's like a little tacky. Um, yeah, like to the touch. Okay, well I don't have any on my face right now. <laughs> I apply mine by just putting it on the back of my hand. I'm like that's probably weird and I don't need a lot like literally this small dot is all that I need because it is really liquidy mm -hmm. yeah it goes like goes. this bottle has lasted me I think I've had it I'm like looking at the expiration date I'm like is it expired <laughs> it's not but um but no I've had this for almost over a year I think mm -hmm. and I still have like a good amount left because I really don't I really just don't use a lot and then I'll put some on my chin right here. And then I'll also add some in between my eyebrows. And then I'll add another dot on my nose. 
and then on like the sides of my cheeks and then underneath my nose because that's where I get red too. Are you like shocked because it's so different than what you do? Yeah. So do you put any liquid on the outside of your face? Like contour and stuff? Yeah, I do contour and then I also do my tinted moisturizer on my cheeks. Um, Isn't that weird? So, I used to do that. Wait, why? I want to know why. Because I like it when the center of my face looks lighter than the outside of my face. Oh, so that's darker. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And then I just buff it in with the Bobbi Brown um, full coverage face brush. And actually what I really like about this is that you can use this on like days when you want to wear like three products on your face. You can put this underneath your eyes for concealer as well. Yeah. And it looks like all real skin. Yeah. But you can also use it if you want to go out. Like, oh yeah, this is what I use. It up. Yeah, this yeah. is what I use when I'm going and out. And like, too. put your product. It blends really nicely with other products too. Like, cream or powder. Yeah. Like for blushes and stuff. And then for the outside of my face, I'll use the Lunaster CC, which, in case you really need to try this, this is like the best yeah, moisturizer. I really need to try. And I use shade 1.75 Golden Medium. Would you say this is like? more coverage less coverage then it's just like a different formula but i feel like the coverage is really similar but this one is more like of a moisturizer like it's thicker it's not super thin like a serum okay but do you want to feel it i'm gonna feel it everywhere. and then i'll just put this on my cheeks and then i'll put some on the top of my forehead not in between my eyebrows and then like if I have extra, I'll just put it on my neck because I like to have the darker color on my neck. It's gonna darken the neck. Try and make it look like your head's glowing. <laughs> my neck is actually like chronically super pale. Mine is too. Oh, he's like tan up to here. Yeah, and then that's basically. But I feel like the, the finish of both of them is really similar. Yeah, totally. Right? Like they blend seamlessly. Yeah, they yeah. blend really well together. Casey doesn't like to set this foundation. I actually do. Yeah. So I think that that's just like a preference thing. Yeah, I think it's like really specific to like your skin type. Honestly. Yeah, just your skin type. Because sometimes I feel like this will make me too dewy. And then once I put some powder on, I feel like I'm good to go. And like that's perfect. Like yeah. the perfect amount of like dew but also feeling like everything is set in place. But I know that you would, you only set your under eyes. Yeah, right? I just set like literally right here because I have like big pores, so that's why I do that there. <laughs> but, no, that is why. But wait, I have dry skin. What's your skin type? I think my skin type is fairly normal. Normal, yeah. Yeah, I think that because we live out here in, in Colorado, I like err on the side of dry. No, we're gonna go in our, with our concealer and we're freaks, so we all use the same concealer. Yeah, if we like put you on any other products in this video, it's the Kosas concealer. It's so good. It's so good. Like yeah, the formula. It honestly is the best clean makeup and like traditional makeup alike. This is the best concealer that I've ever used. Yeah, for sure. The coverage is so good. Mm -hmm. The finish is awesome. I never get creasing. Like I forget what it's like to get creasing on your yeah. concealer because I never crease with this. And I would say this is so, it's very hydrating, which I think you just said, but like compare, I used to use Shape Tape before I used this, and like I felt like if you have dry skin, and like I'm not like overly dry, but I definitely get dry, like my under eyes will get like a little bit dry, mm -hmm. and Shape Tape would, it would, it was just like a little too thick and dry. Great concealer covers everything, but I would say this has like equal coverage, but it's more hydrating. Yep. It's like, I feel like that's I think such a good way. Yeah, different. such a good way to do that. And I use color shade 01, I think, yeah. Like and I two. use 3.5. And I just dot this on, especially if it's just like a day where I'm just running around. So then if I have any of those like dark spots that are peeking through and I don't want to cover them more, I'll just dot this on. Yeah. And then I get really red on my cheeks right here. So I'll actually take my concealer and I'll drag it down to right next to like the bridge of my nose and then I'll pull it out. Yeah, this concealer is so good. Insane. Yeah, it really is like the best 
It's the best. And then we're just gonna add some browns up. I've just been like using this on like the halo of my forehead recently. Oh my god, so you can straighten up here. <laughs> Is this so much? Ah, you went straight up using that. Oh no, wait, I used too much. Shoot. No, you, you didn't. No, you didn't. I think it looks great. Look at my look at my bronzer right now, Casey. She's down to the bone. Oh my god, that is like hitting the that. Yeah, next level. Yeah, that's what I've all been doing. And then we're just gonna apply some blush. And I'm also using the Ilia multi stick which is basically like a stick blush um and it's in the color ladybird and i literally just like slap this baddie on like that and there's a lot of new for say blush yeah that's the say blush and peachy what do you think i like it it's a pretty finish right yeah well, very pigmented really, really pretty on you yeah very pretty it's really pigmented, but it's also really easy to blend out too. Yeah, super easy. Yeah, and like you can like tone it down if you put too much on. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's cute, right? It's very cute and natural. Mm -hmm. And then for my blush, I actually, because it's summertime right now, I've been putting it, um, I put it more so on like the bridge and over because when I lay out, my cheeks don't get rosy, but my nose gets rosy. So then it's like my nose is red, but everywhere else on my face isn't red. So yeah. if I add a little bit of blush, like on the bridge right there, then it kind of makes it like, look like it's all like a little bit of a suntan. Yeah. I put some on my nose too. But I feel like it's because I'm so fair than any color that I put on my, like right here. Like I out too much. Yeah, like yeah. I have to put it here because yeah, like you said, like it would yeah. be more natural to. I will say though, with the say peachy, it's actually not super peachy. It's kind of more like yeah, a rosy like, peach. Yeah, yeah, and then Ladybird is just like for sure a rosy, a rosy gem. Yeah, I'm just gonna set right, like right here, my pores because like sometimes when you have something that's dewy. And you have like a blemish or texture that helps to mattify it. Mm -hmm. So it's not as noticeable. So like if I have anywhere that's like sticking out, I'll just mattify And I just add some to my T-zone, like right here on my nose. Kind of just like where I don't want my concealer to like move around. All right, and now we're going to finish our makeup. Okay, so we basically just finished up with some mascara on, some eyeshadow, a little bit of lip, but this is what the foundation looks like yep. after all of the makeup is on. Any final thoughts? Love this stuff. This doesn't convince you guys to get this foundation though because we literally wanted to do a dedicated video. Yeah. We love it. There's definitely a couple of downsides. Like if I had super oily skin, I don't think that I would gravitate towards this totally, yeah. so much, but um, but I love that it's like a really nice natural finish. My skin always looks better afterwards. Like it actually feels like I did some skincare while yeah. my makeup was on when I use this. And I like the fact that they have more shades now too. I think you have to go in and test them to be honest because online it's hard. It's too hard, especially with the oxygenization. And it's like nice too that it has SPF in it and it doesn't give you a white cast. So you can wear it out at night and it looks good in photos. Yep, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. And Casey was actually the first one to try out this and then she got me onto it. And now we're both here to tell you guys that you um, needed to. Yeah, it's a good investment for sure. All right, well that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Don't and forget to subscribe. Yes. If you guys like this type of video where we do a product review or recommend our favorite product, then don't forget to like this video and we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. See you then. Bye.